memory and storage storage summit webinar sponsored by SNEA. This is Shreyas Shah, co-founder and CTO of Elastics.cloud. Today, we will talk about CXL 3.x and beyond as a converged fabric for heterogeneous architectures. This is the agenda for today, data growth and a need for heterogeneous architectures. Compute Express link, we will introduce you to that. Heterogeneous architectures with CXL, Elastics.cloud mission and the next gen architectures. We will also look at CXL switch use cases and applications that run on current FPGA platform. We will summarize and next steps. Data growth is not new to anyone in the market. Everyone looks at the data growth that is doubling almost every six months. Again, what it means is that you need more processing, more storage, and more networking. The processing can happen with the CPUs, GPUs, AIASICs, as well as a SmartX. Storage, SmartX, and smart, smart SSD, and smart memory. And the networking, which goes from 100 gig per port all the way to 6.4 terabits per second per port. So, Again, from the perspective of server architecture, it is CPU centric that becomes a heterogeneous architecture. Let's look at CXL. CXL is a protocol, Compute Express Link protocol that is layered on top of PCI Express protocol and PCI Express Link, uh, PCI Express electricals. What CXL gives us is the uh, ability to tunnel CXL.io, that is PCI Express, and it also allows us to do the dot .cache and dot .mem protocol on top of PCI Express protocol that enables new use cases for the data growth and for the heterogeneous architectures. CXL is a lower latency compared to PCI Express and a higher bandwidth. In terms of uh, latency, some study shows that CXL is about 60 to 65 percent lower latency than the standard PCI Express. PCI Express has very strict ordering rules that that is removed in a CXL. CXL also addresses in terms of a common address map across all the devices connected via CXL. So CXL has uh, defined three types of devices as shown on the slide, type one, type two, and type three. Type one device is for caching devices slash accelerators. Type two is uh, accelerators with uh, memory. And type three is for memory buffers which allows to increase the amount of memory that one single socket or multi-socket server can afford. So let us look at the CXL features in depth. CXL was introduced in 2019 and quickly it gained a ground because it was a backward compatible with the PCI Express. It was a backward compatible with the PCI Express electrical as well as a protocol layer. And it added the root complex integrated endpoint that allows one to immediately see the benefits of CXL. CXL 2.0 is the one where people added, uh, the consortium added uh, hot add, hot remove, as well as uh, some of the GPF flows. And it introduced a single layer switch as a part of a CXL 2.0 standard. CXL 3.0 standard came out in 2022 and 3.x will be announced in 2023 that doubles the bandwidth of 32 giga transfer per second to 64 giga transfer per second for service lane. And it adds other features like a fleet mode, multi-level switching, uh, sharing of the memory, sharing of the resources and it also does uh, uh, type 1 and type 2 devices uh, over the root port 
that allows the multiple of those uh, devices connected via the fabric of CXL3.x. So let's look at the heterogeneous architectures with a CXL. Traditionally, for last 40 years, there, there was always CPU-centric architecture. Control is always inside the CPU. All the devices are uh, target devices from the CPU perspective, and they always have to send the data back to CPU memory for transformation to send to other devices in the server hierarchy. When data growth happened, uh, data growth that we saw it in this uh, presentation, now we need a newer architecture as shown on the right hand side, that is a data centric architecture. So CPU is not the only intelligent component inside the server system, but all the components attached via CXL that, that has some kind of intelligence which distributes the control from CPU to those components, as well as those components can also talk with, communicate with each other via some kind of a CXL solution, companies like ours, which we provided. We also provide a CXL over wires to connect to multiple of our devices, increase the amount of a sharing of those devices across multiple servers, as well as we can scale it rack to rack to have those uh, devices again shared across those uh, servers in the ID. Let's look at uh, what is Elastics.cloud mission. So our mission is to create this composable infrastructure connected by CXL as a high speed, low latency highway across those uh, distributed control and distributed uh, devices, which increases the performance and reduces the latency across those components when they communicate with each other. When you look at the left hand side figure, that is how we view the resources. The resources are IO resources, compute resources, memory resources, and storage resources. All these resources are tied with the CXL and it's, uh, it gives you the heterogeneous architecture where the components are highly optimized to uh, crunch the data as fast as possible and as efficient as possible to reduce overall PCO at scale. Let's look at uh, what the next gen architecture look like. First of all, let's look at the industry challenges that is on the left side. The servers are siloed in the uh, in the service providers uh, infrastructure because every customer has a different requirement in terms of a uh, memory, in terms of a uh, storage, in terms of uh, accelerators, and in terms of uh, AI assets. So when the service provider provides that kind of uh, infrastructure, it just uh, creates the siloed environment where only certain workloads run at a certain uh, portion of the infrastructure. Also, uh, it has uh, underutilized CPU cores due to the uh, amount of uh, memory that uh, each server can support. And the last but not least is a uh, stranded resources, in including uh, stranded memory, stranded SSDs, stranded processors and uh, stranded AI assets. So look at the right hand side figure that shows Elastics.Cloud's solution. What we can do is we can reduce the TCO, we can increase the performance at the system level, we can also create the this composable infrastructure where every little, uh, every, we create this efficient infrastructure where we again reduce the TCO and increase the efficiency of the infrastructure. And we can scale it to n number of racks inside the aisle to share these uh, devices to remove the strandedness of memory and other components inside the server system. Let's look at uh, some of the use cases. Use case number one is the one where Typical single socket server can support between three to six terabytes of memory inside the server system. 
now with the CXL that can be 2.5x higher, that is uh, 15 terabytes inside the single socket server. As well as this CXL memories can be shared across multiple servers on the network. So uh, again, this uh, kind of uh, sharing of this uh, CXL memory modules, not inside the server system, but across the network that gives a higher performance as well as it reduces the uh, latency to the memory because uh, data doesn't have to go through the CPU and it also reduces the TCO at scale. If you look at uh, use case number two, very similar to use case number one, but it increases the span from one socket to multiple sockets connected via mid plane to two switching blades where Elastic.Cloud solution sits and provides a CXL, CXL connectors where CXL memories could be attached and shared with those x86 servers, server blades in the, in the system. We take that concept, scale it across multiple systems as well as inside the rack and outside the rack. Again, from the inside the rack perspective, we can have the J box, meaning we can share the memories, we can share the computational storage devices, we can share the accelerators, and we can share the GPUs. As mentioned again, uh, this is a kind of a Nirvana architecture inside the rack and can be shared, the components can be shared across multiple racks within the aisle and eventually inside the data center. Let's uh, look at uh, some of the applications that we ran on a current uh, FPGA platform. We ran Redis Labs in our FPGA platform that supports uh, CXL 1.1, 2.0, and we ran Redis Labs as an in-memory database. Redis Labs is a database which typically runs with uh, standard socket and socket attached memory. We took Redis Labs uh, standard socket attached memory plus the SSD and take the, those uh, SSD as a swap space point it towards the CXL attached memory, and here are the results. In all three metrics, latency, operations per second, slash queries per second, and the memory bandwidth, we are between 22 to 25x uh, higher in terms of uh, 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 lower latency, higher throughput, and then higher bandwidth. We also ran ROXDB as an example, and we are seeing the results of a ROX DB where we can run the queries per second 12.6x higher as well as lower the latency by 1.75x. Again, these results are at the software layer. At a hardware layer, we are around 100x faster. And at a software layer, we are between 20 to 25x for Redis Labs and ROX DB 12.5 to 1.75x lower latency. Let us summarize and the next steps. CXL is widely accepted as an interconnect of choice for all server components, including CPUs, GPUs, AI assets, storage NICs, and it is a true converged fabric to connect these components together and create the composable infrastructure and decades of uh, software development that has been happened to create this composable infrastructure. Now it is time to use a CXL as a converged fabric and create the highly efficient infrastructure for data centers and various parts of the IT infrastructure. CXL evolved from 1.1 to 3.x. It is backward compatible with PCIe electricals as well as PCIe protocol layer. 3.x has the necessary features to do the resource sharing across multiple servers, reducing TCO at scale. Composable architectures were talked about for last 40 years, but the technology was not there to uh, support the composable architecture that the people thought about. And now it is a time to use the CXL 
as a low latency interconnect across those heterogeneous components to create the composable infrastructure. Again, ensuring the connectivity of server resources within RAG and RAG to RAG. For more information, contact us sales at elastics.cloud. Thank you.